Today, people, people tell me, ah, if only in 1967, we would have thrown the Arabs out. But I remember 1967. The reason why they did throw the Arabs out in, in 67 was because people then said the same thing they say now. It's impossible. What will the world say? So we didn't. And now instead of having a half million Arabs, we have 1.3 million Arabs there. And what will be in 10 years? 10 years I'll say, ah, if we were throwing the Arabs out in 1980, that would have been a different story. The Arabs of Israel pose a threat to us not because of their stones, not because of their Molotov cocktails. The Arabs of Israel pose a threat to us because of their population. They have babies and babies and babies and babies, and we pay them for every baby. From the talk for me, national insurance. There was an article in the paper about three or four months ago about an Arab, a uh, a Bedouin, an Israeli citizen, thank God, from the Bedouin settlement of Rab in the Negev. A father of 48 children, six wives, 48 children, came you who, and believe me, they will. He hasn't stopped. He's still young enough. Every month he goes to their ship, to the uh, Dara, to the, uh, the post office. Every month at the post office, he gets 48 checks from a people that is an amnaban, the lochacham, an abnormal people. What normal people subsidizes its own suicide. The Galil today, the Galilee today has a majority of Arabs. The Jews in northern Israel today are a minority 